Hi, this is Miles Marie, the Soldier of Mary. I want to follow up the video on Medjugorje and the 18th of March prophecy, or kind of prophecy, anticipation, because we have now reached the 18th of March, and I have before me the message that Miriana is said to have received today. So we're going to take a look at the message, see the prophetic implications of the message, to see if it if it fulfills the expectations that many people were placing upon this day. So a small bit of background, a reminder of why today was so important. Here is something I found on a Medjugorje website. Let me give you a big revelation. Our Lady wants the next March the 18th, 2021 apparition to Miriana to be anticipated. She has given us a hint by her actions today because we know one future March 18th something big is going to happen. So here we have a runway. Everything has been cleared off. Nothing will be happening for a whole year with Miriana. But once we start approaching the year 2021, the 40th anniversary year of the apparitions, Miriana's annual March 18th apparition will have greater significance and will be anticipated with greater attention. Does that not say something to you? This announcement of Our Lady is a big sign. The coronavirus is a big sign. The fact that the two coincide with each other is a big sign. That's a friend from a friend of Medjugorje saying this in March the 18th, 2020, a year ago, building up anticipation for today. And that anticipation stemmed from something Miriana herself had, had previously mentioned. She had mentioned that March the 18th was a day of her annual apparition, not but and no longer monthly apparition, not because it was her birthday, but no, because March the 18th had a significance that would only become apparent later on, that Our Lady had intended this day, not because it was her birthday, but because it was a day Our Lady in the future would do something very special on. So jumping forward to 2021, Father Mark Goring, uh, earlier on, maybe two weeks ago now, he added his emphasis to this date and encouraged all of his viewers, 100,000 people, to focus on March the 18th as a day of a day of, of potentially great revelation. He thought maybe because it was the year of St. Joseph that, that that's one of the reasons why today will be a special day. And we have had the message from Miriana. I've got to say, I... I paid, did I, did I pay so much attention? I, I found out what time the message was going to be. I worked out it was going to be at 1 p.m. British time over here. And actually at the 1 p.m. itself, I didn't kind of pause and I didn't, the, the time flew by for me. I was, I was, a, I was doing my normal apostolate that I do each day and I was in the middle of, of my apostolic work. But then about 20 past one, when I returned to my office, I noticed that the time had flown by and I immediately tried to find out what the message might have been today. And so here is the message delivered to Miriana today. Dear children, I motherly invite you to return to the joy and truth of the gospel, to return to the love of my son, for he is waiting for you with open arms, that everything you do in life you do with my son with love, to be blessed to you, to keep your spirituality internal, not just external. Only in this way will you be humble, generous, filled with love and joyful, and my motherly heart will rejoice with you. Thank you. So what can we conclude about this message given today? Well, this message basically seems like most of the others from Medjugorje. It's pleasant enough, it doesn't contain any obvious heresy, but it's hardly becoming a supernatural revelation from heaven in terms of its profundity, in terms of its, in its revelatory quality. Certainly there's, there's nothing prophetic here, there's no date, there's nothing about maybe next March the 18th is going to be the big one, there's nothing like that. There's an echo there of, of Pope Francis's apostolic exhortation there, isn't there? Return to the joy and truth of the gospel. A tiny echo of Pope Francis there maybe. The message is incontrovertible, there's nothing offensive about this message, and every Protestant even even every non-Catholic that is vaguely a believer in God would be perfectly happy 
with this message. It's pleasant, incontrovertible. It's not saying anything punchy. There's very little to criticize about the message. And again, that has been my main criticism of the Medjugorje phenomenon, that the messages are lightweight, that Our Lady is not addressing anything substantial. You thought maybe Our Lady might have said something about coronavirus, about lockdown, about the difficulties people are facing at this time, or about other evils that are present in the world today. The whole world was listening today, or lots more people were listening to the message today. Maybe Our Lady could have used this as a big day to invite all people to become members of the Catholic Church, because she's not done that yet. Maybe this was going to be a big day. Unfortunately, it wasn't. I'll see you all next March the 18th. I'll see you there too, Father Mark Goring. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.